Okay, now we're going to look at the name Tyler in Descript. This word can be a little bit tricky. There's one reason for that. T-Y. Now, this combination... First, let's explain quickly here. What is this? This is, a, this is an O. This is an Y. It is not an O-C. This is an E. This is an E-C. Why is this a Y? Because, the, because there is a special character. An O with a single tail is a Y. So... Oh, whenever you see an O with a, t with a single tail, that's a Y. Now, the problem is the T is a double tail. So now we've got an O with three tails. Well, what does that often look like? Well, that can look like a W. That's the problem. This is W. W is three dashes. So, how do we distinguish this T-Y from the W-O? Oh. Now, this is not a very difficult task, to say, to, to be honest. T-O, add your dash, going horizontal or to the side. Just remember this rule when you are making your W's. When you make your W-O or W-Y, W's cannot be spread too widely. They can be spread like such, but as soon as they become uneven to one side or the other, count it as a Y if one is at a perfect 90 degree angle. This may seem a little complicated at first, but you'll get the hang of it once, you're look once you know what to look for. Your subconscious mind picks up on these things very quickly. So... T Y L E R. This is Tyler. Now, another way we can help distinguish the T and the Y is by making one of them longer and the other two shorter, or vice versa. So, we can add tiny little dots there, a long one there, and it now becomes very obvious what we're looking at. So, as you can see, it's not as difficult as it might seem at first. It's just a matter of making sure that the distinction is visible and that you use a process that you're familiar with or that m more than just you are familiar with. It must be apparent to others, too, that there is a distinction in some way. So let's try the name Tyler. Let's try to make a little aesthetic here. First, let's look at the combos. Well, the only real combo I can see here is the YL and the ER. So this is Y, this is L. As we already know from the O, when you combine OL, you can do this. This is OL. So this is YL. Now, ER, as we already know, you can put the ER together by putting the R into the middle of the E. Now, let's quickly put that all together and try to make some nice versions of Tyler. T, Y, this time I made the Y short. L, E, R. We could try to fit it all right, in, right inside of the Y. Let's try that. And this time I made the Y long. L, E, R. You can put multiple things inside of any chamber that you see fit. So, you can keep going and keep going. Tyler. Tyler's. This is apostrophe, this is an S. This now says Tyler's. You can put as much as you like inside something. The only problem is fitting it. So, writing space becomes your problem. But it's completely flexible on how you draw it. Outside to inside, top to bottom, left to right. Um, let's try a couple quick more versions of the word Tyler to try to make it look really nice. Uh... You can get the idea. Start to play with it, have some fun. You can fit it into just about any space, shape, or size you need.